everything ready? Ready. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hi, honey. Just being there. Come here. Mm -hmm. This is so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jin, what's going on? What's happening? Everything is set. Calm down. Fine. But you know, Katie, how many kids do you invite? Oh, I many? invited 20 kids. Calm down. They'll be here. 20 kids. And yes. not even a single person is here. My dear, just calm down. Calm calm. You know how Nigerians are with time. Oh. They'll be here. Don't worry. Freaking time, right? You know that already. Okay. okay. So, have you checked the kitchen? Everything is set. Okay. I told you. Okay. Oh, Come in. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. What's going on here? Who are you? I just asked the question. Who are you? I'm sorry. Whatever. What? I just asked the question, who the hell are you? Kate! Sweetheart! Let me handle this. Sweet, sweet what? How are you? You said you were going to bring me to your house. I sensed you were busy, so I decided to call myself. Honey, Austin, what's going on? I don't understand. Who is Kate, she? I said I'll handle You will handle what? I don't get it! What do you mean by you will handle this? That a strange, heavily pregnant woman walked into my house and even called you sweetheart. What in God's name is happening here? What's going on? Kate, I said I'll handle this. Alright? You must be catering. Yes, I'm catering. And who the hell are you? Oh, wow. This man standing close to me, my sweetheart, is the father to my unborn baby. What? Yes. <laughs> Austin, what's she talking about? What's, what's this nonsense? Yeah, she is pregnant for my son. She is pregnant for my son. Do you have any problem with that, Mama? I, are you aware? Mom? What's happening? You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> You look so gorgeous. Thank you. So cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see you. I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> As it stands now, no one knows where she went. But not to worry about that. <laughs> Just be rest assured. Because as far as I am concerned, her stay in this house is far from bad. You are my son's wife. You are the one I hate. I, I, I just pray that you give her to the people so that my job be complete. <laughs> Mama, you don't have to worry. Catherine is too small for me. She's not a rival when it comes to Austin, my man. Don't worry. 
I'll handle her. That's good to know. <laughs> but I would like to ask, uh, have you gone for a scan to verify the sex of the baby? Yeah, I went for a scan and they said the baby is breached, that they cannot detect the sex of the child. For now. Okay, there's no problem. But I want you to do one thing for me. I want you to do everything within your power to drive that kid get out of my son's life. Mm -hmm. Because I will never be a party to polygamy. Not for my son. My son cannot be a polygamous. No, it cannot. Mama. You see, you don't know me, what I'm capable of doing. You don't know who I am. Don't worry, relax. I'll handle her. Yes, <laughs> You gave her my matrimonial bed to lie on? Hey! Get up! Get up and leave this room! I said leave this room now! Are you mad? Why would you lay your filthy, cost pathetic hand on my body? What is wrong with you? Stop. Stop. You don't have respect for a pregnant woman. Your mother did not train you well. Stop. If you try this nonsense again, if you ever wake me up from this bed, you regret doing it. She, she just, I'll beat you here. What is wrong with this one? Wait, 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 wait. Why are you holding her hand? You want to beat me? No, you want to raise your hand on me. Try it. I will not teach you the lesson of your life. Austin, you're holding my hands. You were here, you watched her slap me. You watched this slut, this homewreck, I slapped me and you did nothing. Your mother is a slut. I'm not Mama. I'm entering this bed. Come and wake me again. You see what I want? If they go, you were. Try it. Wake me! Are we? Are we? Are we? Your blood will spill on the floor. Get your hands off me! Sweet, I've lock her, lock her out, and come and lie down on the bed. No sense. Austin, come back here. Leave me alone. What's wrong with you? I said, get your hands off me. Leave me alone. Relax right now. I'm overreacting. Yes, you are. Jeez. Austin, did I just hear you say I am overreacting? I am overreacting that you decided to shatter everything you and I built over the years. Austin, I suffered with you. I built with you. And that thing upstairs is my reward. Right? Really? Shut up. Shut up. I said, shut up. That beauty you call the thing is worth more than you a hundred folds. She's a woman you can't think of to be. Mama, I'm not surprised. I'm not. At all. I don't expect anything less. Because you both are ingrates. Bunch of ingrates! And as for you, Austin, I promise you, you will regret every bit of this. Oh. Austin, Austin, listen to me. I don't like the way you're handling this girl. I don't like the way you handle her. Why can't you open your mouth and tell this girl that her time is up in this house? That she's no longer needed here, neither is she needed in your life. Mama, can you stop, please? Stop right now. She's part of my success story. Stop, please. For oh, real? She's part of your success story. 
Yet, she deliberately refused to get pregnant for you. Hmm? She vehemently refused to get pregnant for you. All in the name of a, 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 a fear of child labor. Which woman can do a thing like that? It's not as if the baby refused to come. It's not as if pregnancy refused to come. But she does not want to get pregnant. A woman that does that is not just a witch, but an enemy of progress. Enemy of progress, that's what she is. I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm going to bed. Stop this madness right now. Stop. Okay? We can sort this out like one big family. Kate, leaving with my child is not the best thing to do. Okay? Let's talk this out. Let, let, let's work this out. We can live together like a family. Please. I don't fire you. You are who is family. I don't blame you. It's yours. Kate. Let her go now. What is wait? This has not even contained all of her. You know she's toxic. Let her go. You're embarrassing me. Why are you begging her? I want not know enough for you. Please, let's go upstairs. Let her go. Let's go to the bedroom. I never promised you that I was going to send her out. Only agreed you give me a child and that's all. You are an idiot. So you want to turn me to your baby mama? You don't want to get married to me. Right? Don't dare me. You don't know what I'm capable of doing. I see that thing. If she comes back to this house, I'll set this building on fire. I will set it on fire. You don't know me. What are you talking about? Yes. My wife. She's not coming back to this house. No one in my life. Let's be out of you. My friend, go back. What's wrong with you? Go back. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. What is it? You should be happy she has left. Go. Go. Something like the dog. Hours. Where is She's in the car. I'm taking her over to my mother's. 
Is it that bad? What is going on? And who is that lady? Is Austin baby mama? The lady whom Austin replaced me with. In the same home that I suffered to build with him. Guess what? Do you know? That lady slapped me. And when I decided to reciprocate, Austin held my hand. I mean, he was mute. He was literally mute. He did nothing. He was just on the lady's side. Austin. Yes. Why am I like this? Okay. Why did they suddenly forget everything? Austin forgot all the sacrifices you made for him? Well, I made Austin. And I believe I can make myself as well. I had rather move out from that house instead of staying with a man who has forgotten everything we shared together. Who has forgotten all the affections, everything. No, 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 no. Kate, you can't do that. Kate, that is your marriage. You need to fight, girlfriend. Yes, fight for what you believe in. You want to give up your own for that lady? Hell no. Well, I've made up my mind. All I need you to do is to stand in for me at the office. And that's why I'm here. Stand in for me at the office, please. Listen to me. I know you need time to clear your head over everything. But you offer people should know that running and quitting is not an option. That is your house. If there's anybody to leave, it should be that lady. That intruder, not you. Austin. Austin, stop justifying your stupidity. She wants to leave and you are busy begging her. If you want to go on, can I want that girl? It's been long I wanted her out of this house. Now that she has seen her match and decided to leave by herself, why, why did you open your mouth to beg her? You were supposed to let her go. Eh? Why, why are you begging her? Austin embarrassed me. He disgraced me in front of that girl. You know, I just realized Austin doesn't love me. After giving him my body, this is how he wants to pay me back. He wants that girl to come back to the house, Mama. He doesn't love me. Austin, is she telling the truth? Mama, Kate was there for me when I had nothing. Yeah, is this the best way to treat her? Yeah, I'm not joking. Mama, you see, it's obvious Austin wants to use and dump me. What am I even saying? It's obvious he used me. He wants to turn me into his baby mama, mama. You can imagine. After everything I did for him, I know what to do. You see this child? I will not give it to him unless we go to the court and we'll do court wedding. I will leave this house and I will leave it my baby. You see, mama, no. you don't know me. It has not gotten to that. No, it has gotten to that. I'm not living with my mama. I'm not a fool. It has gotten to that. Hey, wait, you're not living with my grandson. What? My grandson? Also, if you know what is good for you, do whatever she wants. I'm not sure that she gives me to this child in this house. Don't, don't, don't try me, oh. Hmm. Hmm. Don't try me, oh. Me, this is my grandson. I'm not the possible. Come for I am no no. I didn't hear me. Kate. Trust me, I understand how you feel. But you can't give up. Kate, you need to fight. You need to fight for your marriage. I've always known you to be a fighter. You can't give up. Kate, fight for your home. Did I hear you say fight? Jane, the odds are against me. I can't fight a war that I will obviously lose. Do you know that? When I know I can build my own world, my own happiness. And guess what, sweetheart? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I can see you've made up your mind with this, right? Yes. I've made up my mind. And I need you to understand me on this. All I want you to do is stand in for me at the office for one week. Let me get over all of this. I will resume work by then, okay? Kate, I'll stand in for you. But please, for the sake of your daughter, I need you to take time and think about everything. I don't want you to make any hasty decisions. Please. Okay?
Okay. Jane, I must go. Okay. I must go. Take care. Everything is okay. Don't cry. It's okay. It's fine. All of a sudden someone saw face I'm come to share the home you built with you I'm come to cause this stuff in your family I don't understand You mean your husband Austin Voting another woman that is pregnant Because of that you decided to leave your home You toyed for Why? Why will Austin do that to me? Mama, why? Why will Austin do a thing like this to me? Why? After everything we've been through together. We had an agreement. What sort of agreement would you have with your husband? Huh? Are you alright, darling? You look like you just saw a ghost. I'm fine. I'm good, okay? Honey, just try and have a fun feed day today, okay? Of course, Harold. I pray that the good Lord make things easy for you. And you too. Come here. Hello, babe. Um, I got out of work early today, so I, I want us to hang out somewhere. I want us to meet at um, the Orange Grove. Uh, yes, I want us to spend some time there. Just me and you. <laughs> Alright, I'll be waiting for you there, okay? See you soon. Love you, my darling. All right, man. I'll wait for you there, okay? I love you. Bye. <laughs> What is it? This one you're smiling like this. Guess what? What? So my husband Austin proposed that we go out and today, you know, drink, eat, kind of dating vibes. Are you serious? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, my dear, you're so lucky. Your husband is not just good, but also romantic. Mm -hmm. You see my husband? Hey! For we, that one, my dear, my husband wants homemade food. Even if we go out, he will still come back and eat homemade food. You don't mean it. And the worst thing is, he wants me to be cooking every day, freshly made. My dear, you're so lucky. I did you know you like this? That's sad. That's sad. You married well, my sister. Well, my Austin is not like that. I know. He's a very understanding person. Very romantic I know. husband, like you said. Yeah, you know, he understands my well-being. He understands when I'm not in the mood. Oh. <laughs> I beg you, you know, they prepare me. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mama, I and Austin had a perfect marriage. <laughs> Austin was everything I wanted in a man. Then what happened? Because I could remember vividly. You told me everything good about this Austin. Yes. How angelic he is. Mama, we complimented each other until his mother came into the picture. I mounted so much pressure on us, saying we must have children. Mama, welcome. Welcome. Mama, I can tell you, you're fine. It's all written all over you. You're, you're doing very fine. There will be no need asking you how you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yes, I am good. <laughs> I am absolutely amazing. <laughs> but the question is, are you and your wife doing good as well? Of course. Yeah. Yes. We're, we're doing very fine. Perfect. Yes, we're good. <laughs> mm? We're good, right? Yes, only. <laughs> if you're good and fine, why haven't you given me a grandchild? A grandchild. Not even a pregnancy. It's past one year since both of you got married. Up to now, you're not giving me a grandchild. Not even a pregnancy. And you're telling me you're doing fine. Up to now, what is the problem? What is the problem? The thing is, I and Austin, we are not in a hurry to make babies. Oh, uh, yes, uh, yes, Mama. Uh, we, we are going to have children when we are ready. Exactly. As for now, we have things we want to do first before making babies. Yes. Yes. Hi! Veronica. Veronica, what have you not seen? Okay. You are not yet ready to make babies. I don't understand that you are not yet ready to make babies. Are you using contraceptives? No, 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 Mama, no. Um, the thing is, we actually went to the hospital and did family. Fa fa family? Family what? Do you know you are very stupid? Do you know that you are a pathetic idiot? How dare you convince my son into making such an outrageous decision of not having children yet? Yeah? If you are not ready to start a family, why did you accept my son's marriage proposal? Why? Why didn't you stay in your singlehood and not, and not tell my son into your whole Mama, 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 that's enough. Stop. Nobody's telling anybody. Okay, we had this agreement as a couple. Please, you need to respect that. And I, I, I don't like the way you insult my wife. Stop it. Don't don't insult my wife again, please. Yeah. Austin. Is he me Veronica, your mother? That's your woman because of this girl? Mama, she's not this girl. She's my wife. She's your wife, eh? Yes. Hey! You are warning me because of this girl! My wife, mama. My wife. Listen. Listen and listen good. Both of you have to go back to that hospital and don't do whatever it is that you did that is that's stopping my grandchildren. My, I want a grandchild. Not just one. I want grandchildren. As many grandchildren as you can give me. Do you understand what I'm saying? I need grandchildren and you are going to give them to me. I have come now. I have landed. I landed. Go. No going back. I am going to stay in this house until both of you give me grandchildren. Let me stay and see why you are not. You are not going to give me grandchildren. Okay, oh, What's that? You must give me grandchildren. No, no, I come. 
What nonsense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. not ready. They are. Maybe what? You are. You are not ready to have grandchildren. You are giving me grandchildren by force, by fire. This is unacceptable. This is the unthinkable. But who's gonna accept this? Who's gonna accept it? I hope you build. All of a sudden, someone suffers. I come to share the home you built with you. I come to cause this cut in your family. Hey. Sudden someone so face and come to take your place in the home you built and come to cause this cut in your family. Hey, tell me who can take this? Who can take this humiliation? Who can take this? Tell me who can take this? Who can hey. take this? Not even the same. Not even the same. Tell me who can take this? Who can take this humiliation? This is unacceptable. This is the unthinkable. But who's gonna accept this? Who's gonna accept it? I'm you build. All of a sudden, someone so faced. I come to share the home you built with you. I come to cause this. I know my mother very well. Whatever she wants. She'll fight you hard to get it. You give it to her. Give it to her, Austin. Give it to her. Whatever it is that she wants, give it to her. I mean, you're already married, and I do not see anything bad in both of you having children. I see everything wrong here, bro. I see everything wrong. For instance, I'm supposed to write my promotional exams for level 16 very soon. And if I scroll through, of which I will, I'm confident of that. I'll be going to Finland for an industrial training which will last for 18 months. Tell me, how am I supposed to have kids now? How do you expect me to have kids now when I'm supposed to be so busy? Same applies to my wife. She has been chasing this contract even before we got married. And just now she's about to achieve her one goal. She's this close to achieving it. Mama and others want her to have kids. Come on. Come on now. Come on. You know, Austin, right from the one, I have never supported this concept of yours. I mean, this is your concept of staying for years after getting married before you start having kids. I have never supported it at all. I know, I know you've never supported me. You've never. My problem now is how do I tell my mom to, to wait and give me at least two more years before I can give her a grandkid. We're medically fit to have kids at any time we want. Why the rush? I'm tired, man. My daughter, I called you here for us to have a pertinent discussion, like two adults. I've already discussed with your husband, my son. In fact, let me just hit the nail on the head. Is that by you not giving me a grandchild? I spoke to him and he told me that the reason you've not given me a grandchild is because you are you have a contract with some modeling outfit. Yes, be that as it may. Extremely important, necessary for your career and all of that. But as you're thinking about that, please think about building a family. You are a woman and time waits for no woman. There's no two ways about it. Please, I want you to give me grandchildren, whatever it is. Try to co-opt it in your day, in your, in your routine. Just make sure you give me grandchildren. Mama, That's all. Listen, 
I and my husband agreed on something. And as you can see, he's obviously not complaining. He's okay with it. I don't know why you're stretching this. I honestly don't see any reason why you're trying to fault this. It's an agreement between I and Austin. Mm. Yes, please. I don't know what you told my son that made him agree to this arrangement. What same man agrees to this? Children are not fruits. They are not older than fruit that you go out there and block when the time is right. You, you, you prepare for having a child. You work on it. Make love with your husband. Pray to God. Then the children will start coming. How can you tell me that you don't want to have children until you finish with some money? No, 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 no. It's a no-no to me. It's a no-no to me. You need to give me grandchildren. And I don't want to debate it. I don't want us to argue about it. Bottom line is that I want grandchildren and you are going to give me grandchildren. I don't want excuses. Whatever I, excuse me be. Fine. I, I don't know. You're bent on stretching this and I honestly don't have the strength to argue. I've heard you. I, I, I need to go to my room. Excuse me. Please, as you're going to your room, think about it. I'm putting it into practice. What about thinking? Do it. Do it. I need grandchildren. Give me grandchildren. What? I need grandchildren. I said I you. Fine. this? this Don't be crazy! Are you for real? <laughs> you already know what I can do to you. I used to that for me. That part of me. Kate, or whatever your cost is. Can't I have a moment of peace in my son's home? <laughs> I get the truth. Like you don't know the feel. You don't know the truth. Neither do you know the excitement <laughs> of being a mother. Is that why you're making noise in my son's house like a market woman? No, no, good afternoon. Hey, hey, hold it with your mother too. Do you have children? Oh, I guess right. Best of the feather. Because if you have children, you won't be here making noise at someone's house. Listen, if you both do not stop making noise this minute, you, especially you, you will hate me. You will hate me! I'm sorry, Mama. We will not make noise again, I promise you. We are sorry. Rubbish! Kate, who is she? Don't tell me this is your mother-in-law. Jane, she is. Hey! Yes! Okay. That's my mother-in-law. Ever since she got into this house, she has sworn to make my life miserable. She has been a thorn on my flesh. Mother, you are in deep soup. Why is she behaving like that? I don't know. Did you see what she just passed on me? As if I did something wrong to her? I don't know. This is what I get every time. This is this is it. Why is she so mean? Yeah. Everything she has been doing to me in this house. May Sunda remove your two front teeth for stopping with that garbage in my house. Sophie, I don't know where you got the temerity, the courage, the impetus to walk into my son's compound and talk nonsense with your stupid wife of his. I want you to leave this compound this minute. Oh, what? 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 What is it? What? Can't you? Can't you? Can't you? Can't you? No, 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 do I call you a woman? No, you are a man because you've not given me any proof that you are a woman. <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> Good riddance to bad rush. Uh, hey! Hi! See you later. 
Hi. Hello. I must commend your presentation. You were superb in there. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Growing bad either. Mm. Yeah, you did so well. You <laughs> swept me off my feet. I never saw that coming. It came like a bomb. And you were ready to defend yourself. Wow. <laughs> I needed to. Well, I... I'm sorry the way I spoke to you over there. I think I should be the one apologizing. I spoke out of emotions, yeah. I guess we're angry because I came in 18 minutes late. I'm sorry once again. Alright, if you are allowed. Um... If you are actually uh, sorry, then uh, I'd like to see you again. Hmm? Yeah. This is my card. Be a gentle lady. Call me. Your hand sounds away. Thank you very much. Bye. Hmm? You're a strong woman. Listen to me. This is your husband's house. So don't let anybody to make you feel uncomfortable. Okay? Just overlook it. What have I done? This woman has sworn to make my life miserable. It's okay. Like she just wants me to manufacture a child when she blinks. My dear, you know how mothers are. Okay? Every mother does it for their children. Overlook this. Don't be too hard on yourself. Children, I'm tired. I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm drained. I understand how you feel. Okay? But trust me, this phase will pass in no time. Continue. It's okay, baby girl. Come and see me off. Share up, please. Please go and meet you, please. They say it's the unthinkable But who's gonna accept this? Who's gonna accept it? I'm you, beautiful All of a sudden someone's so faced I've come to share the home you built with you I've come to cause this God in your family And what's going on now? I'm waiting for you to come and share this with me Yes mm -hmm. You're the reason we've not dished out yet. Mm -hmm. You've been waiting for me to share the food. Yeah. Austin, how many years have you lived with this girl eating food without anything to show for it? Tell me. How many years? Now I know why you've not been able to get this girl pregnant. Now it is certain. Instead of you to be using the vitamin, the vitamin inside of you to fill this girl, you are filling her with food, food, food. Of you. Can you just dish this food so we can eat and go to bed? We have work in the morning, please. Eat what? You know what? Both of you are going inside the house. You are going into your room and you are not coming out here until you make this get pregnant. What? You are going inside that room to get pregnant! Or so what? What are you saying, Mama? Mama, listen. What you. Austin, please explain to Mama that what she's asking for. It's clearly not possible. Give me, it's not possible. Hey, hey, you think I'm joking? Oh, yeah, get up. Get up! Go inside that room. You see this girl? You tell me, I'm going to go. You see this vitamin inside there? Yeah. Put it inside you. Give me a grandchild. What are you saying? Austin, get up. You're going to meet me. Get up. Go, 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 go. Get up. Go, go. Come, let's do this thing. Come, let's do it. Listen, leave me alone. No, I can't. Do you prefer to be insulted for this, or don't you think we should do the need for? You know, come to think of it. <laughs> you know, I'm not receiving anything you do not approve of. You can't just be a man. You can't just be a man for once when your mom is concerned. But then when it comes to me, you gather all your strength. Excuse me. Shh. 
You know my mom is right. We're supposed to have had a child by now. I mean, it's been one year since we got married. He has nothing to show for it. How comfortable are you? Hold on, what's up? Are you blaming me? No, 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 you're blaming me. You know, your mother thinks by pushing us in, we're going to make babies, make love, make out, whatever. But this is my home. And I'm the one to decide what to do, when to do it. Do you understand? Excuse me. This is the unthinkable, but who's gonna accept this? Who's gonna accept it? I'm your beauty. All of a sudden, someone so fake. I come to share the home you built with you. I come to cause this God in your family. I'm your beauty. All of a sudden, someone so fake. And come to take your place in the home you built And come to cause this God in your family hey, Tell me who can take this There's humiliation Austin passed his promotion exams and went to Finland for his training After he came back, I applied for mine And also got it We achieved our dreams, goals after our third year in marriage. No need to tell me. You were successful. Yes! <laughs> Yes, I made it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. Honey, I made it. I finally achieved my long time desired goals and dreams. I'm so proud of you, babe. Hmm? Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you made all of this possible. I wouldn't have achieved all of this without you. You motivated me into going for it. No. Thank you. We both propelled each other to the success we enjoy today. That's so sweet. What's <laughs> <laughs> mm. mm. that smell? Dinner. Dinner? Yes, I'm making dinner for you. No way. Yes, I am. Oh, for real? For real. <laughs> Alright, what I want you to do is go upstairs, take a cool bath. Okay. Come downstairs and the dining room will be set. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait! Thank you, baby! This is the unacceptable This is the unthinkable But who's gonna accept this? Who's gonna accept it? I'm your beauty All of a sudden someone so fake I come to share the home you built with you I come to cause this God in your family hey. I'm your beauty All of a sudden someone so faced And come to take your place in the home you built And come to cause this God in your family hey, Tell me who can take this There's humiliation Tell me who can take this Not even a saint Tell me who can take this this humiliation Who can take this Not even the same This is unacceptable This is the unthinkable But who's gonna accept this? Who's gonna accept it? I'm your beauty all of a sudden someone so faced I come to share the home you built with you I come to cause this God in your family hey, I'm your beauty All of a 
a sudden someone so faced Ain't come to take your place in the home you built And come to cause this cut in your family hey, Tell me who can take this There's humiliation Tell me who can take this In that night, we agreed to start having children and we made love like never before in our lives. That was an exceptional night for us. I'm home. Honey? I didn't even notice the car is not parked in guard. Does that mean she's not back from work? Let's evaluate this your work when you come back. So where are you now? Hey. I'm so sorry I came back late. It's the right. traffic was heavy on the road today. It's alright. It's alright, babe. <sighs> the most important thing is you back home to me. Alright? Please help me sit. Are you alright? <sighs> just just help me sit, okay? <sighs> Do I get water for you in the kitchen? <sighs> Worry. Honey, there's this sharp pain I'm feeling in my abdomen. And pain? I know, yes, a very sharp pain. And, mm, ah, Are you alright? Huh? I think you need to drive me to the hospital. The, the pain is becoming unbearable. Oh, okay, please hurry up. Mm -hmm. ah, I'll be right back. Please hurry up, please. For breakfast. Uh -huh. Good morning. Good morning, baby. What time is it? It's past nine. You know, um, I didn't want to disturb you because the doctor said you need bed rest. Okay? 
So now you have to wake up, eat your food, so you can take your medication. Fine, I'll do that after I brush my teeth, okay? Alright, we go. Are you eating? Uh, I'll eat after you take your drugs. Thank you, honey. You remain the best. <laughs> you're welcome. Ah, you're supposed to be at work. It's Saturday, remember? Oh. <laughs> um, I would like to discuss something with you. Oh, okay. What is it? Same thing I've been meaning to discuss with you for a while now. Which? It's about your job. I want you to quit your job. I mean, you're heavy, you're pregnant, and um, we need to safeguard this, our baby. Okay? I, I earn enough money for my workplace. I can take care of us. <laughs> so why don't you just quit your job, relax, while I take care of you and our own one child. If you don't do this, you know how much I love my job. Hey, hey, hey. Are you telling me you love your job? Well, you love me no, and our own No, no way. Okay, that's never supposed to be a competition. You know I love you more than every other thing. Then quit your job. Stay home and take care of our own one child. Fine, fine. fine. I mean, it's just that, it's just that I hate to be a trophy wife. <laughs> nah, you're not. You're a hardworking woman. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Come on, brush your food. brush your mouth first. Then ah, oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, baby, help me stand up, please. Yeah. All right. Ah. Yes. Hi, Mama. Oh, You're welcome. Thank you so much, my daughter. How was your journey? My journey was awesome. Are you sure? Oh, where's my son? Don't tell me that Austin left you in this big house all by yourself <laughs> and went out with friends today that is Saturday. No. Where is he? No, Mama. Austin is upstairs. Actually, your son. He's a very good man. I mean, he does not belong to outside men association. Oh, that's my son. <laughs> that's my son. <laughs> my son, whom I am well pleased. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are Doctor, what's going on? Huh? What, what's going on? She's fine. Just that the baby has not properly turned for her to push. And what is she? What was she saying? What's she saying? Okay. Uh, my, my daughter Ellen is fine. Doctor said that baby has not turned properly. Let's give her some time. I'm sure that the baby will turn properly. Mr. Austin. Yes. I would advise if you and your wife can give yourself a break because her condition is not always good whenever she's pregnant. To avoid further complications, please. Thank you. We will see to that. She will be fine. She will be fine.
That's not me. How are you? Where is my wife? They have taken her to give her oxytocin injection. They say that if after giving her, she does not stay delivered, she will be operated on. It's alright, that um, let them give her as the injection is safe. I don't know, she has really suffered the past three days in labor. I feel for her. Let's just come and see the doctor. Right. We will have to carry out a cesarean session on her if we are to save the baby and the mother because the baby is in a very bad position. Doctor, that's what we have to do to save my wife. Why not? Let's go ahead and do it immediately, please. You will have to sign this, please. Here, yeah, right? Yes. <laughs> You asked me to come with you. What's going on? Where's my wife? She's still alive. Don't ask me to come down. What's going on? Don't go now. Your wife has been there to be with you. But good. there's a complication. And we need urgent blood transfusion. Blood transfusion? Yes. Doctor, what happened? We need at least two pounds of blood. Hey. So you have to go to the trip point to make payments. Better still, you need to have. Child is sleeping. <laughs> I want to go inside the kitchen and make my daughter in law sweet yam pepper soup. Hot pepper soup with all that. No, sir. As what Bonko that she deserves. <laughs> but wait, Mama, is this what people go through in child that? This pain. And then some people want to give birth to five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and even ten. God forbid. Honestly, I don't think I will ever want to give birth to another child. I mean, what I experienced with this pregnancy is close to death itself. Oh. <sighs> don't talk like that. Don't, 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 don't talk like that. Every pregnancy comes with its own issues. Do you know what I pass through when I get birth to you? Oh, my house was different. Yes. From the day she got pregnant, it has been from one trouble to another trouble. From one sickness to another sickness. No, Mama, I can't go through that stress again. Sickness or no sickness, pain or no pain. Bottom line is that now that my granddaughter is here, I am complete. My joy is full. Mm? She has concealed all the pains, all the troubles, all the troubles. <laughs> Please let me go and prepare my daughter in law what she deserves. Thank you, Mama. 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 That day, I and Austin agreed not to have any other kids. But we can adopt as many as we want. What? You and your husband agreed on what? That you are not going to get pregnant again for your husband? Why, you Why could you consent such a wicked idea? In your heart, without speaking out. Huh? Mama, why are you saying this? Why? You know everything that I passed through giving birth to merit. I subsequently faced a couple of Ectopia pregnancies, which the doctor strictly advised against. Why are you saying this? 
I know all you went through. I know what you passed through, but it's not enough for you to decide not to get pregnant for your husband. Now you have left your home. The home you sacrificed for, toiled all these years for. Your daughter buried in a broken home. Remember your pains. Remember what you have been through. Go back to the roots and have your happiness. No, Mama, I can't. I, the, 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 the thought of seeing them together, I, I can't face them. I, I just can't. I, I, I can't bear to see that woman carrying my husband's child. I, I can't. Think about it. Think about it. Can you bear the change of your daughter starting life afresh in a harsh environment, far from the beautiful world you promised her? If you can bear it as a mother, so be it. Oh, how do you say it? Beautiful. 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 How beautiful. What are you doing? Olivia, what are you doing? Um, she's past. I'm present. I'm the happy thing in this house right now. She's gone for good. So there's no need for her picture to be in this city room. Absolutely no need. Olivia, this was not part of the plan. This was not what we back in for. You're smart. You should know better than drag yourself into a polygamous war. Are you mad? Are you stupid? You've been insulting me in this house. I will not tolerate any further insults from you. You deceived me with your tales of love and caught me pregnant. Now you want me to be your side chick and baby mama. It will not happen. Let me see how near this house. You will know what I'm capable of doing. Don't worry. And that was one slap so deserving. Let me warn you. If I see that Kajori of a girl step her feet into this house, I will cut them off. She will never come back here. Never. Rubbish. This is unacceptable. This is the unthinkable. But who's gonna accept this? Who's gonna accept it? I'm your beauty. All of a sudden someone so nice I come to share the home you built with you I come to cause this God in your family hey, I'm you built All of a sudden someone so nice I come to take your place in the home you built I come to cause this God in your family hey, Tell me who can take this this humiliation who can take Tell me who can take this Who can take this Not even a saint Tell me who can take this This humiliation Who can take this Think about it Can you bear the change Of your daughter Starting life afresh in a harsh environment, far from the beautiful world you promised her. If you can bear it as a mother, so be it.
Baby, listen. I know you might think I'm mean, but I'm not. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it to protect you. That woman, Catherine, is evil. Look, I know you don't love her. Because if you love her, you wouldn't come for me. There must be something you see in me that you don't see in her. My love, I'll protect you. Okay? I'll make sure you are safe. Oh my goodness. Look at your nipple. I love it. If you are so sweet. Don't worry, I'll make sure she leaves this house. By the time she's out, I will have you all to myself. Hey, sunshine. I brought you breakfast. Breakfast on bed. How was your night? I hope it was blissful. My night was beautiful and memorable because mm. you know what you did. <laughs> Baby, mm. you were also wonderful last night. You had the strength of, a, of an elephant. Wow. My goodness. I'm glad to have you in my life. I'm lucky to have you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Take this. Gain your strength. Because after eating, we're going to go another round. Breakfast round. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. Meaning you with dessert, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like it in the mornings. <sighs> mm. 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 I love you, my baby. I love you so much. Mama, what are you watching? This is not you dress like this. Why are you going out? Mama, honestly, I had to rethink of everything you told me yesterday. And truthfully, I wouldn't want to give my child that kind of life. The kind of life I want for my child, she won't have it here. So I'll be returning back to my husband's house. You mean it? Yes. Oh my God! Oh, I'm happy. Man, that's one of the best decisions I've ever had long ago. Mom, thank you for the advice. It was really helpful. Thank you. Hey, go back and take over your place. It's your home. I'll you that. Let me go and get my advice. I just thought I should tell you. All right. All right. You're going. I don't understand. Excuse me. Yes, my friend, go back. Pack one side. Olivia. You're shameless, you. You're very shameless. No, you're here dragging my husband's house with me. A man that I've been with over four years. You are bragging. Just four years, you are spreading. What about the mother? That been in his life since he was born. What are you going to say about that? Mm -hmm. Listen, your tenure is over. I am now in his life. So go back. 
It's where you came from. This guy should not this. Hey, 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 hey. The marriage you are talking about has been nullified for a bit. What? So that husband you are calling husband is no longer your husband, which means you are no longer needed in this house. Mama. Yes. But what are you saying? Why are you doing this? Who do you want me and my child to go to? Your grandchild. Mama, please don't, don't do this. Don't. Which grandchild? Mama, are you sure this child actually belongs to us? Have you done DNA? That's what he Has he done DNA? Are you stupid? Because you are mad. Are you crazy? Not to Allah. These days, things are happening in this life. I don't trust you. This is your eye where they shine like pussycat. This child does not belong to Austin. Show us DNA. Wait, Prove it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. Hey, my darling, wait, wait, wait. Uh, because uh, my son told me that he impregnated this girl. And because of the sake of my grandchild. I will allow you to stay in the boys' quarters. What? But you are not to be seen anywhere around this main building. Understood? Mama, I don't understand. Which one is boys' quarters? She's not entering this compound. She has to go back. Ah, enough of this joke. See, I've had it enough. I've had enough. Now, this is my house. My husband's house. And none of you can stop me from entering. Hey, 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 I will dash you slap. I know they follow you play. Olivia, I'll go beat you for here. You cross my path. I will cross you. I will beat you. Oh, really? I want to see you cross. You know, that's the thing I want to do. You're very much mad. You cross. 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 To my frame. Who removed my portrait? I did. There's no need having your portrait here because we're no longer needed in this house. So, there's no need. Olivia, you have the guts to remove my portrait and replace it with yours? Listen. You see that thing you're looking for from me? I promise you, you will get it pretty soon. And it won't be pleasant. This is unacceptable. This is the unthinkable. But who's gonna accept this? Who's gonna accept it? I'm your beauty. All of a sudden, someone so faced. I'm come to share the home you built with you. I'm come to cause this God in your family hey, I'm you beautiful All of a sudden someone so faced And come to take your place in the home you built I'm come to cause this God in your family hey, Tell me who can take this There's humiliation Thank you mama <laughs> Baby, my whole body is paining me. This is my pregnancy. All this corner, everywhere, is paining me. Take me to the hospital because I don't understand how my body is doing me. Can you stop this, please? Stop. I was so tired at the office and I decided to come back home to rest. And now you're giving me more strength. Stop. Ah. Austin. Austin. Hey, mama. Hey. Your wife is telling you her ordeal, but she's passing through as a pregnant woman. I don't, this is all you have to say. This is all you have to say. Eh? Mama, can you see? That is which of your wife has brainwashed him. She has a strong hold on him. He manipulated me to get pregnant for him because his wife cannot get pregnant for him. Now I'm carrying his son. Eh? So, did I hear you well? Wait. <laughs> Do you, do you mean that what you have here is a soul? Yes, now? 
This car is Let me bring this car is yeah. It's a son of Gary. See, if you have to make up your mind on who you really want. Because if you don't make up your mind, I will live with your son. Ah, I will give it to the child. I will go. Hey, go, 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 did you hear that she's carrying your son? Yes, sir! Hey! That girl is going to give birth to, to your hair. The person that is going to take over your everything, your asset, just like it's coming from your father. Don't you understand? Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, my daughter. I'm not going to tell you what's going on. You know what I'm talking about? You can't original daughter in law. Okay, as a son, let me go take care of her. You can't take care of her. Let me go take care of her. It was here. What happened to it? I don't know. Well, I removed it. You did what? I realized this house would be a lot better without the portrait. Are you, are you, are you still okay. here? Don't stay. Because if you do, I will design your skin with bitterness. It's because I've been keeping you quiet. Kate! <laughs> To engage your co pregnant wife in a fight? Madam, leave this thing. Even with this pregnancy, I will finish her. I will pluck out her eyes. Hey, hey! You will not do it. Watch out. Why did you keep my watch rates? She wants to kill my own boss. Grandson. We can! Why, you see the nonsense I'm tolerating because of your son? No, look at the insults I'm receiving because of your son. She's jealous okay. because you are carrying my grandson. She's jealous, don't you understand? My pregnant baby girl, the original one in this house. Give me an air. <laughs> Kate, you had no reason at all to trash those portraits. No reason at all. Why would you do that? Really, Austin. Austin, I don't have rights. Yeah. But you all do. You won't mind. You burnt my portrait, thinking I won't find out. Really? Baby, I know. Never mind. Never mind. This house no longer belongs to you. And as such, you don't have any right to behave anyhow you like or move anyhow you like. Okay. But well, let me put it straight the way it is. You are no longer needed in my son's life. So I want you to go upstairs now, pack your things, and leave this house. Well, you lie. You lie, Mama. Because no one has the right to kick me out of my husband's house. And not even you. Did I hear you right? Hey! Did you just say that no one has the right to kick you out of this house? Ah! Yes. So you better stop trying. And just focus on this local foul. With this thing she's carrying. Don't that bad dog it here! Look at this thing! Look at this, this animal, that's who you are. I don't understand what you are doing with this local thing. Draw the girl to this one. Did you see anybody to, to, to get married to? It's this thing. This one. Yeah, because of all this, it's because of you I'm receiving all these insults in this house. And you can take action as a man. No, I'm at all. It's not a man. This is unacceptable. Sima, what are 
finish washing my car? No, ma'am. I, I just finished washing my car. Okay, now it's okay. Excuse you? You did what? I said I just finished watching Madame Kate's car. Now, now it's your turn. Sorry, Max. Come. Don't let me come to you. Come closer, quickly. Come. Closer. Hey. You're very stupid. You are mad. So you washed her car instead of mine? Really? I'm, I'm sorry, Max. Anyways, I'll drive her car since you, you washed hers. Let me have a car key. Come and put the gates. Come. Come back here. Give me my own key. You, why are you like that? Are you crying? Talk to me. Why are you crying? What happened? <laughs> Madam Olivia slapped me. Olivia did what? Slapped me. Where's my car? She went out with your car. She went out with my car. Smart. So where is her car? She also went out with it now. I'm sorry. It's fine. And um sorry for the slap. This is unacceptable. This is the unthinkable. But who's gonna accept this? Who's gonna accept it? I'm you beautiful. All of a sudden someone so face. I'm come to share the home you built with you. I'm come to cause this cut in your family. How was your trekking today, cool wife? Olivia, with due respect, please do not repeat what you did today. That car does not belong to Austin. It was given to me by my. I beg, shut up! Shut up at your mouth! This belongs to Austin. That belongs to Austin. Listen, by the time I give birth to my son, Everything will automatically belong to my child. Like I said, the car was given to me by my company. The very next time you repeat this, I will hand you over to my company's legal theme for persecution. I will shift! Excuse me. Only you get company. I'm not going to give back. Only give back first. You, you will see the real me. <laughs> you will run away from this house. You don't know me.
At us like one zombie that we stood. Why? What? If you are wondering who trashed that poisonous rice, I did though. I needed that pot to prepare delicious food for my husband. Next time, if you see that pot, pass! Because if you use it, I will show you Shege in this house. Did you hear what she said? No sense and ingredients. I don't understand what she's even cooking in this house. All this while she has been cooking poison for your son. But don't worry. You are here now. I am here to take care of your son. <laughs> my lovely husband. Oh. Weeping. No leave. No transfer. Mm. My... <laughs> I have come to, to pin. Yes. Of this. Hey! No one is eating in this house, says your dearest wife, Olivia. Why would you ruin the food like this? What's your problem? This thing, this educated fool you brought into this house, had the guts to trash the food I was preparing for my daughter Merit. And you expect me to allow you guys eat in this house? Hey! No way. Kathleen, you are wicked. You are so, so, so wicked. You see, this is your heart. Oh, my husband. No, you said you wicked. How can you do this food like this? How can you do that? Even with your husband is here. You quit husband. Your ex husband is. Mama, swear. Swear you were not here when she was boasting. She told you confidently that she trashed the food I made to cook for my husband. Who she snatched from me. Let this sound as a warning. Listen and listen real really good. Stay clear from anything that belongs to me. That's the only way peace will reign in this house. This is the thing you chose over me. See how she disrespected you. Disrespected your mother. Ruined your food. Insulted you. Instead of you to chase her away from your house, you're busy looking at her like a moron. I would never do such a thing. I would never. I know I can be sometimes rude, but not to this extent. You can imagine, Mama. Honestly, Ben, I'm sick and tired of everything. I mean, I don't know what to do. I still love my wife, Kate. But Olivia is the one who's carrying my child. Something Kate vowed never to do after her first experience. Um, you know, man, there is this saying that you can't eat your cake and have it. It's either you keep one, you lose the other, or you get ready to find the embers of a polygamous war in your home. You know, there's something about women. They can be very, very jealous, especially when they feel entitled. You know that, right? Yeah, the whole thing is getting on me, man. I'm telling you, and Olivia is not even helping matters. She's the one who's always speaking on kids, and that I do not like. Then talk to her, <laughs> alright? Let her realize that in as much as you love her, Catherine is your legally wedded wife. Olivia, I know, will never listen. She's too stubborn for my liking. Olivia is too possessive. And that's one thing I don't like about her. I just don't know what to do. Eh? I'm tired now. Yeah, yeah I'm tired. This is serious. Very serious. Benita 
Oh. I'm Barrister Jane Joshua. What happened? Ma, please. You need to help me. I am tired of the union. I, I want out, please. I want out. You know what? Let's go to my office so you can tell me everything in details. Okay? Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. So, you mean to tell me that you cheated on your husband with his best friend? And you got pregnant for him. And your husband, whom the doctor already declared impotent, is threatening to kill you? Yes. As a result of your infidelity? Yes. I have to do that to save myself. Ma, you don't expect me to live the rest of my life without having a child to call mine. <sighs> Mrs. Benita. I'm not here to condemn you. But as your lawyer, it is my duty to tell you nothing but the truth. So tell me what you want. When I met my husband, he had nothing. I stood by him until he became what he is today. All I want is a cut of the money and other properties he has across the nation. Mrs. Benita, you are not going to win this case. What? You don't need me or any other lawyer as a matter of fact. What you need right now is police humanity and not a lawyer. But I was told you're the best in divorce case. Why are you telling me I am not going to win it? I am the best in what I do because I know a winning case. You can't win this case. You cheated on your husband, a man whom you claim to love, whom you said yourself that you've been through so much with. And now you want a share of his money to take care of your result of infidelity. Do you know that whatever he thinks he does to you now will be attributed as act of provocation? Go to the police and report yourself. Ask for protection. In that way, you and your child will be safe. But as for me taking up this case, I'm sorry, I'm, I can't take up this case. Why you have to? You can. Look. I will pay you. I will double your money. I will pay you very, very well. All I just want from you is just a cut of the money. That's all. Please, just help me. Mrs. Benita, my answer still remains the same. I'm not taking up this case. I'm sorry. You mean you're not going to help me? I'm sorry, I won't help you. What you see every day. Fully. <laughs> you know there's nothing you can do. You can't help her. I can't. Okay? Listen, I'm best in what I do because I understand and know a winning case. Just as yours. If you decide out, I can get you the best deal you can think of. Although I don't support divorce, especially when the child is involved. Because it reshapes the life of the child. Unless if domestic violence is involved. Jane. Yes, sir. Why did you tell Mrs. Benita that you stand for her? Sir, our case is the one we cannot win. I listened to her. And there is no way we can win such case. 
and that will be tarnishing the image of this company. Come, you cut me some slack. You always find a way to win. At least you would have tried, other than turning her down outright. The lady in question offers to pay a huge amount of money for this company to stand in for her. Sir, I understand the monetary aspect of this case. But what happens to the company reputation? We are known as the best legislation when it comes to divorce cases. Are we going to paint the image of this company for a case we are sure of not winning? Jane. Sir. I will let this one slide. But don't deprive this company money again. Because you know there are a lot of bills to be paid, including your salary. Or do you think the AC you're enjoying is for free? We buy diesel to fuel the chain. Do you get that? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Good. Understand. I want to sit down. This place will not contain me and my son. Go, go, shift, shift, go. Go, 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 get up, get up. Ah, Olivia, what is wrong with you? Switch it on. You what? saw me watching television. Switch it on. Now. Just do your mouth. You they command me, no they fear. Yeah. This thing is disturbing me and my son. If you don't like it, come and beat me. Do you understand? But you see this television, you will not watch it. No one in my life. Olivia, did they send you to me? Did they send you to come and die in my hands? Ever since you came into this house, you have refused to let me be. Stay away from me. No, I will not. Why will I stay away from you? I don't like you. You don't know. I hate you. And that's because you are standing between me and my husband. You should move. Your husband? Yes! I'm standing in between you and your husband, Austin. <laughs> what a delusion. Now you listen and listen real good. I don't have anything to do with Austin anymore. You can have him all for yourself. All I am asking is, let me be in this house and raise my child in peace. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> if you want to die, it's obvious you're looking for someone to kill you. Definitely not me. Hey. Trap when I said this girl no one falling down. If I come like this, she could go like this. Olivia, what's that now? Can't you see my daughter is playing with? Give me. Olivia, oh, 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 shift. What's the meaning of this nonsense now? Eh? Olivia, say, I, I don't want trouble. Give me. She wants to be. I will kick you with my right leg. Olivia, don't you say I came this thing here? Maybe she's playing with it. What's all this now? What's, what's all this trouble for? See, memory? please. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not joking. Are you seeing this leg? My son wants to play with this ball. My son, no, not daughter. So, hey, Olivia. Kate, Kate. But still complain about everything. Mm -hmm. Mama, Mama, I don't like this thing you're doing. I don't like this thing you're Kate, saying. Kate, Kate. When someone that can incubate a boy is talking or wants to play with anything, you don't need to make noise. 
Is it because of this girl you are capable of giving? Just a girl, who? You see this woman here? She has my grandson inside of her. She has someone that is going to take over from my son. Someone who is going to take over the family name. So you don't have any rights to challenge her in any way. Hey, that's your... Uh, hey, what? Okay. That's your dragging this toy. Hey, so please, whatever she wants, you do it for her. I want to tell her because this one, maybe she's deaf, she doesn't hear. What we say when we talk. She does not. Oh. <laughs> hey, you take this, you'll get. Ah! Mama! Eh? Oh. It's like. 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 It's Okay, so you cannot get her back. Hello, Mama. Oliver is in labor right now. Which hospital, Mama? FMC. Okay, I'll, I'll be there right away. Okay? Alright. Alright, thank you. God. Congratulations, Mr. Austin. Your wife has given birth to your baby boy. Valuable, lovely daughter in law just put to bed to a bouncing baby boy. B, B, B. Unlike some people that will go to the hospital and stay in the labor room for ages only to give a baby girl that is another man's property. <laughs> and after they will be dragging a title bit. Please. I need to get to the kitchen and boil water for massaging my baby boy and my lovely daughter in here. Don't you want papa? Papa, hey! Papa, hey! Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I'm, I'm super happy. I promise you, I'll appreciate you for this. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'll do something nice for you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You are proud. I owe you love. Huh? This is unacceptable. Doctor, what is going on? What is wrong with my daughter? I'm sorry, there was a complication. Mm -hmm. Could we try our best to stop the bleeding, but. Hey! Lost. Lost. Hey! 
Alpinista! 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 I hate the fact that we are here discussing how much you do us. Marriage should be forever. I just wish there's another way around it, other than divorce. Unfortunately, there is none. I mean, divorce is the only way out for most women to leave and take care of themselves and that of their children. Yeah, I know. But I feel so sad that this is happening to you. I mean, after everything you went through with Austin. It's fine. So, where do we start? Yeah. Tell me everything I need to know. His name, everything about him. I loved him so much. So much that... Divorce has never crossed my mind for even a second. But you see, this man has a way of pushing you to a point of no return. And then get you stopped, looking for a way to escape. Just as I am now. I just got a call from the hospital. All right, they said I should come and pick up Junior because he has been discharged. So let's go to the hospital and pick him up, please. So soon? Why are they in a hurry to discharge him? I don't understand. What do you mean why are they in a hurry to discharge him? Are they supposed to leave him there? No, now he's your son, Mama. Let us go and bring him back home so you can take care of him. You are right. He's our son and held it too. I just pity that little boy. Just feel for the little boy that fate has dealt a great deal. Mama, Mama, yeah. please, 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 don't, don't, don't do this. You're trying to do right now, okay? I, I'm trying to heal. Don't open up my wound. I beg you, son. You need to heal, if possible, completely. You know why? The sight of Junior will always remind you of the mother. So, you need to learn how to live with the wound, healed or not healed. Let me get that back. So, tell me why you want to divorce him. Yes, I already know. But I need to hear from you for record purposes. 
where he's a cheat, a terrible liar, and an abuser. He cheated on me with a girl and got her pregnant. He cheated on you and got another woman pregnant. And he has the guts to bring his mistress into my matrimonial home. They maltreated me, insulted me in my own house without any remorse until she died during childbirth. I want out. I want to leave the marriage because Austin is shameless. He would want me to take care of the child, of which I will never do. So, you have lived through this truth, right? Any woman that sleeps with someone's husband is terrible, miserable, horrible, pathetic, a beast, wicked, and without a heart. Anyone who sleeps with someone's husband is the devil, right? Yes, yes. Okay. I will trust the proposal today. Come back to me to make it. And if he doesn't say, I'll sue you officially. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What's up, man? You've been gloomy ever since you came in here. What's happening? Bro, you talk like you don't know my story, man. I know everything. But I still expect you to be happy and strong. I mean, being all gloomy and sad won't help. All the boys back now. He was discharged this afternoon. As we speak, he's at home with my mother. Then if he's back home, it's all good. You don't seem to get it, man. I mean, the boy is barely two weeks old, which means he needs breast milk. What am I supposed to get that for? My mother cannot produce breast milk. So what do I do? This is serious. Why not talk to Kate? Yes, Kate, talk to her. I, uh, I, I know she's angry. I know she's she's upset, but I believe she she will get over it. You know, uh, talk to her. She's a good woman. She has a good heart, and I know she loves you. Try. I hurt Kate so badly, man. I don't know how to go about that. Why not try? Why not give it a try first? I mean, a try I won't hurt you. You never can tell, you know? Um, you built our love for sudden someone so face And come to take your place in the home you built And come to cause this cut in your family Hey, tell me who can take this Austin No, no The way Kate treats Olivia's son and us in this house is quite absurd. She pays no single attention. I mean, no attention at all to that boy. She doesn't care how the boy is. She doesn't care. He hurts about that child. Mama, I was even meaning to ask you this question. Now that things have turned out this way, what are we supposed to do with that boy? Yes, now. Kate is still your wife, right? Tell her to adopt her son as her own and train her like her own. Simple. And how is she supposed to, to, to accept that after all I did to her? Eh? You are her husband and she ought to listen to you. Especially when the case here concerns a little innocent boy. Eh? She needs to be compassionate. Yes. Oh, oh, I fought at the end. Compassionate, Mama. Okay. I would like to talk to you. What is it? Um, Kit. I know I wronged you. I treated you badly. I did a lot of bad things to you. 
But please, we are all humans. Eh? Like they say, to err is human, to forgive is divine. Find a place in your heart and forgive me. Your darling husband. I, I have I have um I have um messed up in so many ways, but here I am, you know, innocently asking you to forgive me. Please. Well, Austin, I can't. Read my lips. I will do no such thing. I don't know why you're sounding like this. I don't know if you have been able to manage to find out my plans. But just so you know, even if you have, I will still push through with it. Plans? Uh, what plans are you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, what I'm trying to say in essence is well, I've always wanted to have another child. I mean, by adopting. Hmm? Uh, this is a good opportunity. Let us adopt Olivia's son. Make him our son. And take care of him. Give him the good life he deserves. Mm -hmm. Alright? <laughs> Kate. I know I played a major role in the tears and humiliations you passed through. Mama, you are not going straight to the point. You did not play any major role. You were the major, you were the key player as a matter of fact. You were the game. So just go straight to the point and uh, this is not a time to, to, to uh, butter words, please. Just, just see it as it is. Okay, okay, I accept that. But please, for God's sake, and for posterity. Accept this boy. Take him as your own. You know, God has a way of doing things. He has decided to bless you with another son. Don't turn it down. You know, go. You go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This must be the biggest joke of the century. That I, Ketrin Onyema, should accept the child of your mistress, whom you cheated on me with? <sighs> well, Austin, read my lips like I said. I will do no such thing. Never. Kate, you're not like this. Uh, you're not this heartless. You see, see my eyes are red. I have been drinking all day thinking of a way to solve this issue. Yeah, please. If I find a way and, and, and forgive, okay, fine. Even if not for me, for the sake of that innocent child. Oh, please. There is nothing in this world that will make me accept. I have made up my mind. As a matter of fact, I am here to tell you both that I want a divorce. Yeah? No, 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 mom, no, no. There's nothing any of you will say here to make me accept Olivia's son. I will not do that. Well, you once told me you wanted to adopt a child. An opportunity for adoption has come. This is your husband we're talking about. His child, of course. This is his blood. You have to accept that child as your own. Mom, why does no one care about me? Why? And this includes you. I mean... Austin, his mother, and Olivia humiliated me in the house. Mama, I went through hell. And now you want me to do them the good by raising the child Olivia left behind? Well, I won't do no such thing. I won't. Lady, I understand how you feel. Okay? And to tell you the truth, if I'm in your shoes, I don't think I'll raise that child. Right? Yes. So I'll advise you to follow your heart. No, 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 no. Don't say such a thing. How could you say such a thing? Huh? You want her to leave her home? Do you want her to leave her marriage? She needs not to leave her marriage. Well, that well, home belongs to her. No, 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 don't worry. Because of another woman, you want her to leave? You know, mom, just, just save your strength, okay? Because I'm definitely leaving. And as a matter of fact, I've already served the divorce paper to Austin. Yes, and he has just six days, six days to sign it. I lost a good woman, Ben. I lost a good woman chasing after stones. 
Kate loved me with everything in her. But now I've lost her. Stop doing this to yourself. Please stop. See, you've got to brace up and talk to Kate. Alright? I I understand she's angry and in all fairness to her, she should be angry. But I know she'll forgive you because we're all human. Alright? She'll forgive once she senses true remorse. Okay? Talk to her. For four days now. I've been talking to her. Trying to make her see reasons to forgive me. Trying to show her how remorseful I am, but she wouldn't listen. The truth is, if she was my sister, I would advise her not to take me back. Because what I did to her is totally unacceptable. Hi, Benson. Hi, Kate. Good day. Yeah. Um, I understand. Uh, but can I talk to her? I mean, can I just go and talk to her? Maybe she might see reasons with me. Chima, Chima, hurry up now. Sorry. Um, take, go get me bread. You know the type I, I'm talking about, have you? Can go. Um, ah. okay. What do you want to say? Oh, let me save you this stress because I already know what you want to say. Oh, Kate, please accept the baby as yours. Blah, 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 blah. Well, the answer is no already. Because I would do no such thing. If there's any other thing you want to say, say it. I'm all ears. The truth is, I'm at a loss for words right now. Like, I seriously don't even know what to say. Perfect. Fine. Since you do not know what to say anymore, can I go inside and continue what I was doing? Excuse me. <sighs> Why the divorce? No, Kate, why the divorce? Because I'm still struggling to find out why you want to abandon everything you practically worked with Austin to build over the years. I mean, why? Benson, it is not a do or die affair. Yes, it is not. I've gotten it up to this place. I've had enough. Okay? At this point, I want to explore more options and find myself. Have a great day, class. There's nothing much to do to say.
The baby has been crying. The baby has been crying. He cried all night. Go, go and check up on him now, please. Christine, are you kidding? How's that supposed to be my business? Am I his mother? I'm not his mother. Neither am I his nanny. Come on, Kate, don't be So like worry that. about if he's crying or he's hungry or whatever. Kate, don't be like this, please. That child is innocent. Alright? He knows nothing about what we're going through. I've begged you to forgive me for everything I did and yet you will not forgive me. Please help this child. Austin, let me ask you one question. Just one question. How sure am I that one day you will not wake up and bring in another lady with a baby into my house? Or for my dead body. I will not do that again. I have learned my lessons. I will never do that again to you. Well, you learned late. You and your mother here are bent on procreation. But you can do it without me. You have until tomorrow morning to sign those papers. Else, you will hear from my lawyer. Excuse me. Tell me who can take this? Who can take this? There's humiliation. Who can take this? Tell me who can take this? Who can take this? Not even the same. Not even the same. Who can take this? Austin. Yeah. Here's the document. Sign it or prepare to make me a cut. My daughter. Hmm. Oh. Are you trying to say that there's nothing that can be done to change your mind about calling it quit with your husband? I'm sorry. There's nothing that can be done. I have made up my mind. This is the only way I can pick up the remaining pieces. Put them together and secure my peace and move on. Hey! Okay. Kate! You actually want me to sign this? Since when did you become this greedy? Hey, Kate! Listen to me. You are not getting shishi. Shishi from me! Awesome! Magnificent! Perfect! Meet me in court then. Mama, well, this girl wants me to sign everything I labeled for. She wants me to sign off everything I labeled for. Seventeen million naira and my own company. Hey, all of my company, Mama. Everything. Hey, kids. You want him to hand over his company to you? Yes. Pay you 17 million naira? Yes. I said take custody of the child? Exactly. Hey, Katie, my job broke. Yes. All right. For everything my family did for you. I'm not giving that. And for all that I have to endure from your son, your pathetic son. That is all. It's all right! Kids, you're not getting anything from you. You're not getting shit shit from me. Take it to the bank. Oh, don't shit. Get in a way. I'm going to be a whole bag. I'm going to be a whole bag. You know what, mama? Get in a way. I need this. That is the only thing I need to compensate myself for everything I endured in this house. Without it, meet me in court. Excuse me. Son, please come back. It's not about walking away. We need to see the lawyer that drafted this document. Okay, we need to kill you. Oh, lady. This is totally unacceptable for my son and I. Tell your client to ask for something else. Maybe I'll cajole my son into a of it. 
mean it's outrageous. Huh? She wants my company and 70 millionaire in cash. Come on. Come on now. That's too much. Mama, there are better ways for you and your son to defend yourself. And by so doing, you won't have to give her anything. But this is what my client wants. I will meet in court. Hmm. I have heard of your prowess. But don't you think you will lose if you continue in this process against my son and I? That is what I want to actually. There are enough evidence of infidelity, assault, and abuse against my clients to win this case. And if that happens, this will no longer be my demand. So, here, yeah. Mr. Austin. Yes. I need you to sign this and part ways with my clients. After a mistake happens, here. Yeah. You'll live the rest of your life in misery. It is you that will be haunted for the rest of your wicked and miserable life. Mr. Austin, you just threatened my client. We sign here that if anything happens to her, you will need to pay. Here. I'm not going to do that. I will not sign it. See? Just sign it, okay? Sign it and allow this wicked woman to go with her misery. She will be miserable all her life. Just like you said, you just sign it, okay? Just sign it, okay? Here. Sign here. Do you have a pen, Marshall? Thank you. Thank you. I'll never someone so face And come to take your place in the home you built. And come to cause this cut in your family. Hey. Tell me who can take this? Who can take this? There's humiliation. Who can take this? Tell me who can take this? Who can take this? Not even the same. Not even the same. Tell me who can take this? Who can take this? There's humiliation. Who can take this? Who can take this? Who can take this? Not even the same. Not even the same. This is unacceptable This is the unthinkable But who's gonna accept this? Who's gonna accept it? I'm you built All of a sudden someone so faced I come to share the home you built with you I come to cause this God in your family hey. I'm you of a sudden someone so faced And come to take your place in the home you built And come to cause this cut in your family hey, Tell me who can take this There's humiliation Tell me who can take this Not even the same